Okay, and first step when I start to do this this uh, throttle body and idle speed replace is always to take this power on in this this battery and we take this minus cable off and we need for that job this 10 millimeter socket. And I open that in here in that way. Let's go to look closer what I am doing. Because this is that is my target. And I use this my tool in in that way. This is opening direction. Start end. Start end. Okay now when it's loosened I take my hands and I move that in here. Okay, and then we continue. Okay, then I take this cover out and for that job I need 10 mm socket, what is in here. And I insert my tool in here. There is first bolt and then second in here. There is, there is no second. Now it drops to ground, but I pick it. I pick it up. Okay, now this part is okay, and then we continue. Okay, and then, then I need to take this air filter cover and this pipe what comes in this filter cover to this throttle body away. And for that job, I need Philips screwdriver, and I open that clamp. And this fastener in here totally. And then I a little bit pull that now it's free. And then here is here is similar clamp in, in that position in here. And I open also that. And it is this clamp in here. Okay, now it's free. And then I I take that away so that I a little bit move that and pull out. Now, and now it's free. And there is this clamp. And then I rotate a little bit. I rotate a little bit that way. And then this part also opens. Okay, here are these my parts. And there is this second fastener. Okay. And then next step is to take this gas pedal cable out. Okay, and this next job, when I am taking this gas pedal wire away, I need 12 millimeter socket, two pieces. <coughs> Sorry. And I insert first 12 millimeter in here and second in that side, in that way. And now, now I can open this, in this way. I move that in this way and then this cable becomes loosened. Well, the rotation up. Now this cable is loosened and then important thing is that wire we need to rotate that in here and then in this position we need to move that up. Look. This is this is difficult task. 
sometimes because I need to move this throttle body in here up and in that when we keep that in this position I move that wire in here and only in that position this wire comes out. But normally it could be a little bit tight and I need this tool in that other side that I a little bit press that in this side in here that I can take it out in this way now it moves and then then in here now it, it comes out okay look and there is this hole another side is this compress and then it comes back in here okay now wire is free and next job is that I need to take these cables in here out and this is first cable and I take that out in here this is first cable and then those second two cables they are a little bit difficult to open but before of that I think that that I I can take these electric cables out and here is this first one and then I take these cables out and this upper one opens so that I press that another side in here let's go to look because this is interesting locking system there is the system and in that wire I need to press in in that way and same out pull out there is that kind of this press and then pull out okay and here we have this next and that side in here this area and pull out press and pull out press here this area where is my thumb okay now cables are free I move those in here and next we have those two water coolant hoses what we can take quite soon but before of that I need to open this bolt and then that bolt and that bolt in here and I need 12 millimeter socket okay and here I have this 12 millimeter socket one two millimeter in here and, and this tool fits in here in that way and I open these bolts that Then I rotate this. This is my tool. I, I rotate this my tool so long that this bolt is free. Okay, now now it's free. It moves in here, and then second bolt is in here down. And now I use only this longer solder tool and that way I open that This tool in hand. Okay, now, now the second 
bolt is free and then in here we have the third bolt. Socket, and then I rotate my tool. And so long that this is okay. Now there is actually nut. Nut is there inside. Okay, that kind of nut. Okay, good. Now this. Total body is free. I only need to take these two hoses next open. Okay, and then, then I need that kind of tongs, what are adjustable that I can adjust, and then I need to open these two two clamps. What are what are in there? So we can see those clamps. And let's look at how I manage open because they are in this down array and that's I need that I try to take that my throttle body little bit away here. But it is easier easier to move. Okay and let's look at how it happens. Okay and then I noticed that there is this one bolt that I need to take out and when I use my tongs I can rotate that bolt in that way. I insert them in here and this nose now it moves a little bit and then I can take my fingers and I can take this bolt out. This bolt in here. Now this bolt is free and this is Toyota's specific bolt. And in that area in here I took my grip. In here. And we can use also in here some tool also. Okay, and now when I have taken those three bolts away, I can take this throttle body away. And next I need to a little bit rotate that so that I can I can open this I can open this clamps in here using this my tool. seems that this is it seems that it is a little bit difficult difficult to take those out and that's why I think that I need to take now this air filter cover in here next out I take these parts away because then I can use this my tool better in here in that way. Because I need to insert this my tool in this way. And next, next we take then this air filter console out. First this cable cable in here. And then this console in here, console in here, and then air filter, and then there is three 10 millimeter bolts. There is third one, two, three. What I need to open next.
and here is this my tool and then open this This is open, and the next one, next one in here. Okay, there is that kind of bolt, and then when I have to take all of these bolts away, we continue. Okay, and now all bolts. R3, 1, 2, 3, and then I can lift, lift this cover, cover out. And now I take these screws in better place, and then we continue. Okay, now when this cover is free, I can more easily install this my tongs in this clamp. Put this in here and in carefully. In that position, I take better view. Okay, in that view, because this this clamp opening is not so easy, and we need to insert this tongs in there's two sides and that side, and all time when we press and compress, we can open this joint in that way. Here, and here I come. It's a little bit difficult, but finally I manage. Now, now I insert that in here, and then, then I press that. I take a little bit better view. Okay, and now I try in. I moved that cover in here. Now there is small, small, more space. And now I insert that my tool in here. And then carefully I open that and then I move that clamp in that kind of position in here and then I take this my clamp in here and I carefully I move that hose a little bit that, that it opens and then, then I move that out. Okay and there is coolant and I need to insert in here this my cover in in this car's body. Okay, and now this coolant is grinding in there, and I have canister in there down. And then I open this next hose. It is here in the same way that I use my tool in here. is free and now this throttle body is free in here and then we can continue okay and there I have those two of my throttle bodies and 
this is this old one in here and I have in the, the new one. And now I am planning to insert the new one and then I can later analyze why what is wrong in these sensors in here. And then I start to install that new one back. Okay, and then clean all of these contact points with suitable carburetor or cleaner, like this Yamaha. In that way, I take a little bit better view. In, in here, and then clean cotton cloth and they clean all of this very skillfully. And then purchase new, new this, uh, this gasket and sealant in there. And here I have new gasket from this Toyota dealership center. And look, this part comes in this, this one hole. There is one hole in here. It, it, Just in first here and then all parts in here. Okay, and now I can now I can insert this this throttle body back. Okay, and then I am planning to install that throttle body back. And first step is to insert insert these hoses in there. It is my first task, and I start my job with that. There are my tongs. And there is this one, and then this cable in here. First with your back, and then this clamp. Now it's good. Now it's position and then the second second cable. And here is my toes. Now these things are okay, and then I insert this my back this total body bolts are there. Bolts in there. Then I take my socket and I can rotate this. This. I need to insert this that cable support and I need to take that bolt out. And this part comes in here. Ok, 
Okay, and then I need to fasten these bolts using my friends. And there is this first one. There, and then I fasten these overpoles too. Okay, and then here. Then again in this upper bolt and then that bolt, three bolts. Okay, and then here. Okay, good. And now I believe that, that not too much force about 20 newton meters because this is plastic and here this was okay that one okay everything is okay cool and then next step was to insert this cover back here and actually sorry these electric cables these are not in here they are in here that upper one comes in here click and then this lower one comes in here and remember to listen to click that click sound good then, then this cover body, cover body back here, cool. and then I fasten these bolts in here back, and I insert this throttle hose, and then the final step is that, and soon we go. Okay, now I have inserted this air filter cover and console pack and then this uh, air filter cover and intake uh, throttle body uh, this hose in here and I have fastened these clamps now I am planning to insert this this gas pedal cable and this setup happens so that I need again this two 12 millimeters socket and first I have in here this cable I insert that in back in here in this spot okay and this part Okay, now it's there, and then this part in here. Okay, in that way, and then I need to fasten these bolts that way. Good and. I take my tools one in here and in that way I I fasten. Okay, now it's free and this part is moving and then if everything looks okay of course this cable back in here and then I need to install cover but then we need to test drive this system 
But before of that, I need to add in here this coolant because I dry out a little bit coolant in here, and I add next I add in here this ready ready mix coolant. Okay, and then I have in here this original Toyota Premix Green Long Life coolant for the last something like two or two years or 25,000 miles. And this is like ready mix. And then I open that and I add this. This is green and I can install that in any okay and I need to add a little bit more and then when this is ready I start this engine okay and then of course I need to insert this my battery cable back in there and then 10 millimeter socket and Fastening. Okay, and now when this part don't move, everything is fine. And then, then I start this engine, and we check how this works. Okay, now I start the engine. And let's look how this works. Okay, everything looks fine. And then I insert that. 